Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, we are going to discuss the syntax as well as a flowchart of a nested for loop. We know the importance of a for loop in a logical programming implementation in any programming language. So, almost in all the programming languages, the for loop flow is a common. So, here the syntax nested for loop syntax. nested for loop. So, generally the for loop is having three types of a statements right here the first one is initialization, but here it is this is outer loop. So, outer loop initialization outer loop initialization and here outer loop condition condition and here it is outer loop modify increment or decrement this is outer loop and inside the outer loop now our, our concept is a writing inner loop. So, this is is a inner loop initialization and next one inner loop condition and next here it is inner loop modify statement modify. So, this is defining for loop inside another for loop. Inside the inner loop, so we are writing the statements belongs to inner loop only. These are inner loop statements, inner loop statements and where we need to place a outer loop statements means what here. So, means what as before preceded by inner for loop and followed by inner for loop. So, here so we are writing outer statements outer statements here and outer statements here we are writing outer statements. So, this is generally the syntax and how it will execute the flow is also important. So, first of all the control come and check that uh, outer init initialization statement it will execute and next after initialization so it will check the condition of outer loop if condition has failed directly it will terminate the flow only the flow will be terminated when outer condition has failed if outer condition is true then the control move inside it will execute outer statements first after that after that here inner initialization and next it will check inner condition suppose if inner condition is a true so again the control move inside inner statements execute after that after execution of inner statements it will modify and after inner modify is again condition it will check as long as the condition is a true it will repeat here only it will repeat here suppose if inner condition has failed then the control come out of the inner for loop then remaining outer statements execute. So, after execution of outer statements sir will it terminate? No, from here it will go and modify outer modify after outer modify again outer condition. If outer condition is a true again same process it will repeat. If outer condition has failed then it terminates it terminates ok and see the flow how the flow will be. So, first of all it will start it will start and next here it is outer initialization and then outer condition it will check. So, first statement is a outer initialization after that outer condition it will check see here it is a condition outer condition suppose if outer condition is a false directly it will terminate the flow it will come to end if outer condition is a false and suppose if outer condition is a true outer statements it will execute if it is a true outer statements execute these are outer statements after outer statements execution so inner initialization statement that is also statement. So, here 
the inner initialization statement it will execute. After initialization, so now inner condition it will check here this is inner condition, inner condition. If inner condition is a true, the inner statements execute. If inner condition is a true, the inner statements execute, inner statements after inner statements execution inner modify and then inner condition it will check here is the inner loop modify statement modify statement and after that it will check inner condition only here only the loop will repeat if condition is a true first inner statements it will execute all the statements you define inside the loop and it will execute the modify statement and then inner condition and suppose if the condition has failed remaining outer statements if condition has failed remaining outer statements remaining outer statements the so after outer statements again it will go and execute outer modify is nothing but here is outer so modify statement after outer modify statement here it is a outer condition it will check here outer condition it is a flow of a nested for loop. So, this is the syntax right what the rule we need to follow while defining nested for loop and this is the flow how the nested for loop executes in the application ok. So, hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to Naresh channel thank you. Mm -hmm.